uh, bring in Fallen. Uh, Gabriel, welcome to the uh, show. He's in the uh, player area right now. Another great win and another amazing performance by Cold Zero. Yeah, hello everyone. Yeah, it was a great game. I think we played super well on the first uh, T side. Despite the second round we lost, it wasn't that great. <laughs> but we made up for it on the third round. Uh, we had uh, only three flashes, two guys with 100 HP and we make it work. And after that, we just start things rolling. We start playing with a little more, more confidence. And we made a great half. On the second half, I think uh, the pistol one will have a good read on what will happen. But I think my flash was too weak. And I couldn't blind the guy on the car side. The car position with banana. And then we we're not able to win the pistol, which make the game way much easier. Hmm. And then things start to get a little bit different, bit difficult on the second half. Uh, I did some, some mistakes that cost us a little rounds. But we were able to win some rounds that darkly it wasn't the easiest one to win. I think there was a, a cool zero round with a Deagle on the boiler. And yeah. then after that, it was Fur uh, clutching it on 1v2. And I think there was other rounds as well where Cold Zero did a great play on the side. A. Yeah, Cold Zero played amazingly this game again. I mean, it's majors. He's a beast yeah. on majors, right? Yeah, what no, he, he comes alive when it's major time, yeah. right? But I mean, if he just carries on getting 35 kills every game, then how does anyone beat you guys? Yeah, we're going to take the trophy home if he keeps doing that. <laughs> it's going to be great. I think you're right. Yeah, <laughs> for <laughs> okay. sure. Uh, we've got Yanko and uh, Fifth Laren alongside, guys. I actually have a. Re this is uh, very interesting to me, right? You came out very recently saying that you're, you guys are feeling a little bit burnt out. But honestly, this to me, this is the best Counter Strike I've seen you guys play. Yeah, thank you. I think this. this, this so as we play the Inferno, the first map of this tournament, uh, we're able to detect some mistakes we're doing this side, uh, picks we're not doing, or decisions we're not making on during the rounds. And on today's game, I think we improved it so much if you compare to the first game. And that's why we watched the game yesterday and we are able to identify those mistakes and, and, and have a better approach on the next time. So uh, it's not only the individual performance they're making it uh, work, but I think the team played amazingly as well as a whole. Uh, I remember you guys talking about your your map pool coming be, like just as you came into Europe and saying that you're not really sure which what are your strongest maps besides maybe Mirage and Cash. Now after a couple of tournaments and after you had an extended period here in Europe, do you feel like you you at least know for yourself what your map pool looks like and what are your strong strongest maps? Yeah, our map pool is pretty much play everything but take notes on Nuke. That's pretty much all the goals <laughs> are from there. That, that works. That works for us as well, Gabriel. Uh, just, yeah, again, once again, congratulations on the win and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. 2-0 so far, so all things going well. Thanks. Thanks for uh, the cast. Thanks for watching and congratulations to my team. I'm very proud of them. They played super well. Congrats to Australia as well. It was a good fight.